Hey everybody, Bryce here from CodeLife.io. And today we're talking about how to launch a uh, brand new React project. So you probably heard of React, probably interested in it, probably interested in getting started with it. Um, testing out a couple other libraries, Angular, Vue. Uh, so React is a very, very popular UI library. Uh, it's built by Facebook. And one of the, like the really interesting things about it is you write a lot of inline, we'll say inline JavaScript, essentially like all your styling and stuff. To, well, not all your styling. I take that back. But you use the thing called JSX, essentially. So it looks like you're writing HTML, uh, but really it's JavaScript uh, then being interpreted into HTML. So it's for some people, they really enjoy it. They write all their styles, all their HTML in JavaScript. So super interesting, super fascinating. Um, pretty easy to get set up. Um, so let's go ahead and do that today. So if you don't have Node.js, uh, or node installed on your machine, go over to nodejs.org um, and you'll see here an LTS button and a current. Uh, go ahead and get the LTS, that's the most stable version. This is kind of the latest and may have breaking changes. So grab the right now 8.12 LTS is the most recommended. So you can click that, it'll download and run you through an install prompt. So get that installed. Once you have that, we'll come over to our command prompt and we can type uh, node dash V, so I have 10.6.0. Uh, you'll probably have 8.12 or whatever is the uh, LTS version. Um, you can also type npm dash V, and so it'll tell you 6.1.0, so which is good. So make sure you have at least 6.0. If you don't have 6.0, you need to update, um, and you may need to get this package here because the way we're gonna install uh, React and get set up is going to require that. So if we go over here to github.com slash Facebook slash create react app, uh, go ahead and scroll down here and you'll see some quick instructions. So you'll see MPX, uh, MPX is an installer, uh, where you don't have to basically save a copy on your, like globally on your machine. Um, if that doesn't make sense, don't worry. Don't need to worry about it. Um, instead what we're going to use is this new feature and this is why it says you need NPM, uh, version six plus. Um, because we're going to use the syntax npm init and then react app and then whatever the name of our app is. So in our case, whatever we're going to create, uh, so we can go here, we can go npm init create, oops, I already forgot it. React app in the name of our app, we'll say app tutorial. This will just take, uh, probably couple minutes, maybe a couple seconds, depending how fast your internet is, but go ahead and download all the dependencies. So what create react is create react app. It's a uh, simple project to go ahead and bootstrap a react project. You could set this all up by hand, but you see how many files it is. It's a lot of work to set up a project, which you can follow my other video where I do manually set it up. If you're interested in seeing that or use uh, Babel with Webpack, but instead zero configuration, uh, it's got everything you need to get up and started. So let's go back over here. It should be done. Perfect. So by default, it'll have yarn installed in the package. So you can use yarn or you can use uh, NPM if you like. Um, so not a problem. So now yarn's installed there. So we can go, yarn is just an NPM alternative. We can CD into our project. So we called it, uh, what was the name of the project? App tutorial. So we can change directory into app tutorial. Perfect. So now we're in that directory and we can just open up our favorite editor. I'm just going to do it from the command line here and perfect. So we have it set up, installed. Uh, everything's looking good. This is uh, where your main code will run. So if we go back over to our terminal, we type uh, yarn start. That'll go ahead and spin up the project for us on a local development server. And then we'll be here at localhost 3000 and perfect. So now you can see everything set up and it'll tell you edit source app JS, save and reload. Let's go over there just to show you guys what that would look like. Um, go here and type in our own message here and we'll say code life, save that. It automatically reloads. We go back to our page and boom, it says code life. Cool. So now you know how to get started. Uh, please check out my other tutorials if you get a chance. Uh, I walk you through how to create more complicated projects with React. 
Um, also have some on Angular, Vue, um, as well as some Bootstrap stuff if you're into the, some of the styling and the CSS. But please go ahead and like, subscribe, and share these videos. It helps other find other uh, developers or aspiring developers find these videos so they can get started as well. So thanks, guys. Take care. <laughs>